And so I'm part of a, a, a group here at the Coastal Studies Institute that focuses on coastal processes. And part of that is to look at the shorelines in North Carolina to see how they're changing, to see how we're modifying them, and to help better manage those coastlines. It's interesting in North Carolina in that when we think about the shorelines, we often think about the Atlantic shoreline. And for North Carolina, we have uh, approximately 300 miles of Atlantic shoreline. We have 12,000 miles of estuarine shoreline. And so it's sort of that, uh, that forgotten area that is critical to the ecology, to the recreation, to the commercial fisheries of our state. And so about five years ago, we partnered with Division of Coastal Management here in North Carolina to make the first digital map of our shoreline from the coast going inland, um, covering the entire estuarine shoreline. So we took aerial images and using computer technology, we digitized that shoreline. You know, from a, a management perspective, from a research perspective, it's important to know what your shoreline is. And so one of the things that we did is we looked at how the shorelines were being modified. And so we actually assigned every shoreline a characteristic. Is it a marsh? Is it a beach? Has it been modified? And if it's been modified, how has it been modified? And so we looked at all of these things. And what's pretty incredible about North Carolina, and I think as North Carolinians we should be proud, is, is we don't have a lot of modified shoreline. You know, of the 12,000 miles of estuarine shoreline that we have, up between five and 10% of that shoreline has been modified one way or another. And so that was one thing that we didn't know before is how much modified shoreline we have. So we know that, we can see how that's gonna change in the future. And that's really important, see where it's changing and how it's changing, how are we modifying this in the future. Not so that we can impose management, but so we can, we can grow smart. Smart growth is, is the direction that we wanna go. And, and having some understanding of how, that, how it's been modified is important. So with a lot of these projects we put together, we have been able to look at how our estuarine system is changing. So we need to understand you know, how this is taking place, why it's taking place, and if there's anything that we can do in the future to, to either you know, move with it, to try and prevent some of this change, because it is gonna ultimately impact our estuarine system. The methods that we use are, uh, uh, there are a few different ones. First, we use balloon aerial photography, where we literally take a, a large eight-foot balloon filled with helium, and it's tethered to a, a line, and we float it up, and then we take a series of photographs across an area. At the same time, when we're out in the field, we actually collect some, what we call ground control points, where actually we put some markers on the ground, and we determine where they are exactly located using a uh, GPS system. And then from the aerial photographs and those GPS points, we can then place those photographs in what we call real world coordinates, which then can be brought into a computer and we can work with them on the computer. The other method that we use is this real time kinetic GPS. This is a system where uh, basically it's a GPS receiver that connects to a network of GPS stations around the state and those stations basically send corrections to the GPS receiver that tell it exactly where it is. And so with those corrections, we basically can map out in, in very high detail where we're located as well as the elevation that we're at. And so from that, those two information, we can understand a lot about the coast and how it's changing. Today we're doing a little work on mapping the canal of uh, right here behind CSI. So we need to have this canal so we can get our vessels in and out to do coastal work. Um, and one of the key things is, is what the depth is. So what we're gonna do today is uh, use a canoe and uh, attach to that canoe, we're gonna use a basic echo sounder, just like you have on your regular vessels. And we're gonna connect that echo sounder to this real-time kinetic GPS. And so uh, we're gonna have the, those two data feeds coming into a data logger and we're going to basically paddle around this canal and so basically as we paddle around, uh, the sound will be being sent out of the, the transducer of the echo sounder. It'll travel down to the bottom, bounce off the bottom and come back. And based upon the travel time of the sound, we get the depth. And based on the GPS position, we get the position. And from that collection of data, as we map that out over time, we can map out the depths of the canal. These shorelines, these wetlands are key. They're critical to sustaining a viable and, and, and active ecosystem. So I really believe that we need to, 
to take that into consideration as we continue to grow, as we continue to develop. And the only way we can do that is to have a better understanding of how and why they're changing. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do here at the Coastal Studies Institute, is understand how the shorelines are changing and what the drivers are for that change.